Hi. Mark and Mark and Brian here, fitnessforlifept.com. Get it right. <laughs> okay. So exercise number three. Now, a lot of people come in and they say they've got no arches. Okay, so their feet are flat. And they, and they tell me they, they just don't have arches. They've been told you know, they have flat feet. Most of the time, you know, when I see those people, if they pick up their foot and just let it relax, an arch comes in. So they can pick up their foot and they can see, okay, you do have an arch. That's not a structural flat foot, then, meaning the bones aren't that way. You can actually work on restoring that arch. It, all that means is you've let the muscle in the bottom of the feet get weak. So Brian, as you can see, he's got great arches. Thank so, you. Yeah, it's the only thing we got good. Hey, I'll work with it. All right. So, but working on the bottom of the feet, strengthening those arches. So for those people, you can do a lot of good with re-strengthening those arches because they are the key to supporting your foot. So the first exercise has been shown to have the most benefit for strengthening the bottom of your foot is called a short foot exercise. So you take a little stride forward. You're gonna just make your knee soft over it. So you're just gonna put your weight over the center of your foot. Now, part one then, you just lift your toes, not the ball of your feet, just your toes. Try to separate them out as far as you can. Put them back on the floor and then push them through your toenails. You push down into the floor for 10 seconds. Now, the effort you want to use is about 20% of your effort. So if 100% would be as hard as you could push, dial it down to approximately 20%, okay? Five repetitions of those. So each time, pull the toes up, separate them, because that provides a better base of support and works on the deep muscles of the foot. Push down through the toenails. Okay. And you may even see in time that the ball of your big toe comes up a little bit. That's okay. It just means you're working that arch. So you keep that relaxed, build that up. And when, what I mean by pushing through the toenail, you're not going to take your feet and claw the ground. You're pushing straight down. So if my fingernails were your, were, were your toenails, you're pushing them down, not clawing. That's, that's the important part of that. What about people with high arches? You mentioned low arches. People with high arches are still a good exercise to work on to keep the arches strong because feet are just like any other muscle, especially with the shoes we wear. They can become weak or they can start getting overused. Now, one other quick exercise that you can do if you have trouble with that or don't have time during the day, we just like you to do a forward lean. So put your feet together, nice and straight. Put them line up together. Sorry. Okay. And then all you're going to do now, you want to do this in front of a wall or something, but you're going to just maintain being straight. Same thing. Lift your feet, lift your toes. Sorry. Separate them, put them back on the ground, and then slightly lean forward. Okay. As you shift your body weight forward, then those toes are automatically going to dig into the ground. And then you can come back up so you can hold that for 10 seconds. So it's another way of doing that. And that's more easily done in your shoes if you need to. So two options with that, but don't neglect the bottom of your feet. Thanks for watching these, this episode. And if you have further questions, contact Mark and Brian at fitnessforlifept.com.